Well, hello again, everyone. Welcome to Michigan Stadium. Welcome to Art Regner's video blog for FoxSportsDetroit.com. We are in Ann Arbor, and uh, let's get the establishing shot going so you can see it. There is Michigan Stadium, the big block M, and uh, uh, site today of Michigan's victory, their second Big Ten victory. They're 6-1 now in the season. Uh, they did become bowl eligible, and uh, if you're a fan of offense, you would have loved this game. And uh, Devin Gardner, Jeremy Gallon breaking records right and left today. Uh, and so let's get this out of the way first, because I'm going to spend most of the time talking about the defense. Offensively, as long as Michigan doesn't turn over the ball, the ball Devin Gardner is a great talent and is going to score points. There's no question in my mind, and Michigan's tinkering with their offensive line, and perhaps uh, Michigan's offensive line will start to come together. They now have another bye week, so they don't play for two weeks. It'll be interesting to see what happens. So I think offensively, Michigan is, uh, is fine. I mean, they score a lot of points. They score a lot of points, and as long as they hold on to the football, because these next five games Michigan is going to play are going to be against very, very good football teams and three games on the road – out of the last five where they don't play very well, and their two home games are Nebraska and Ohio State. So uh, the daunting part of the schedule is going to start to happen right now. But what I want to talk about is Michigan's defense and how horrible it was. This is the stat sheet from today's game, and I highlighted a few things. Michigan gave up 572 total yards. 572 total yards. Indiana possessed the ball for 21 minutes and, and 26 seconds. Their longest scoring drive was 2 minutes and 8 seconds. 2 minutes and 8 seconds. These are their scoring drives. Minute 21, minute 3, 40 seconds, 52 seconds, 1 minute 50 seconds, 208 as I said, 1 minute and 10 seconds, and 1 minute and 25 seconds. There were chunk play after chunk play after chunk play. Michigan's defense, I'm not sure what's going on there. The secondary was brutal, absolutely brutal. Thomas Gordon played well. He made some plays when he had to. But overall, if Michigan's going to do anything in these next five games, their defense is going to have to be better. So I asked Brady Hope during his press conference today uh, about the bye week and would there be significant changes. And I'm basing this on something Gary Moeller did Several years ago, after Michigan had a victory in a subpar game, he came into the press conference. First words he said, I know I'm paraphrasing because it was a number of years ago. He said, hey, look, all 22 positions are open on this football team. Come Monday at practice, my top 22 football players, those are the guys that are going to start for Michigan in the next game. I'm not saying it should be that drastic that Brady has to do that, especially on defense. But something needs to happen. You know, I, can anybody figure Michigan out? I don't know what team is going to show up. Heck, not from game to game, from series to series, it seems like. So I asked Brady that question about the bye week and if there would be significant changes to Michigan's football team in two weeks when they take the field again against the Spartans in East Lansing. And so this is what uh, – uh, Brady had to say, I think you're also going to hear uh, my question. Now, you have another bye week, and then you really go into, I guess what people would say, really a beat part of your schedule. Three real tough road games, a couple of tough home games. Uh, what do you hope to accomplish? Is this bye week fall at a good time for you? And do you think that, I don't know if you're going to make significant changes, but will this Michigan team be a little bit different when they take the field at East Lansing? Well, you know what? Uh, I could say this, uh, I'd like to see the same offense show up, but maybe a different defense. And, uh, you know, we have work to do. There's no question about it. We've got some things that, uh, probably in all areas, but uh, from the defense standpoint, we've got to clean some things up, you know, out there. And uh, um, hopefully take the time. I know we're, we're beat up a little bit, which that's part of the game. Uh, get some guys healthier, healthier, and then uh, work on the to go out one. So you're glad that you got a bye? Yeah. I mean, cause, you know, you just, you just had one. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so close yeah, well, we had the uh, three-game schedule there, you know, is what we looked at. And then uh, now we got, the, you know, the meat of the schedule, like you said, uh, the next five weeks. <laughs> well, there you have it. So, you know, as you can tell, look, Brady Hoke was not happy. I think he was a bit shell-shocked. I think he looked at his defense, and, I, I, you know, he had to be nothing but disappointed in what he saw out there today. 
You know, the pressure was really on the offense. So it's pretty simple. If Michigan wants to be this championship team, if they want to be better on the road, if they want to accomplish anything this season, their defense is going to have to get significantly better. Because as long as the offense doesn't turn the ball over, Michigan has a shot to win because their offense is going to score points. Their defense, those are the guys they got to pick it up. Greg Madison, figure it out. You have two weeks because it could get ugly in East Lansing if the Spartans suddenly find an offense because that defense should be the envy. Michigan State's defense should be the envy of every Michigan football player right now because they're significantly better. It might pain me to say that, but it's the truth. So we'll see what happens. Defense, get your acts together. That'll do it for this edition of Art Rutgers Video Blog. For FoxSportsDetroit.com, have a safe and pleasant one, everyone. We'll see you. Bye-bye.